Welcome back to Poems and Stories to Remember. Hi, dreamers. Okay, so today is January 1st of 2023, and I would like to wish all my dreamers and anyone new watching a happy new year. This is our first video of January of 2023, and this is going to set the precedence for what's to come. So in this uh announcements, um, I wanted to announce that we finished out the end of the 2022 with two Christmas cash winners. Now we are starting 2023 with our in the new year cash giveaway, giveaway, I'm sorry, where someone will win another cash prize. Okay. So, um, again, this cash giveaway for January is for the whole month of January. So it's a matter of me popping in. When I pop in and do the cash giveaway, I will pull those who are eligible. And if you remember, anyone who commented in the month of December on the December video is eligible for the cash giveaway for January, okay? Um, I wanted to make mention that I have not forgotten about the Dream Team Tag Challenge. That is just something that's still just in the works. I haven't really set a date yet because I'm trying to figure out how I should do it. And I'm and honestly, now it seems to be leaning towards me doing it in um, on our second Christmas um, and making that, since it's a larger amount, a part of our second Christmas giveaway where we're bringing in new people, but at the same time, I'm giving away a larger prize. And I'm really leaning on doing that. I have so many other things I've been working on. And that that type of challenge requires for me to put my all in it. So right now, I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm working on some other stuff. Okay, so we are in, a, in the new year and it's time to update. There's an update that I need to bring forth. Because my channel does focus on poems stories, challenge, um, channel messages and all that. But, um, and acrostics, I do acrostics, a lot of acrostics, but, um, I also am incorporating, um, along with my, you got this and my soul's journey and positive affirmations, um, for the new year, I'm also having, would like for my dreamers to work on their short term and long term goals. So this particular video, um, I'm going to go over my soul's journey for the month, like I always do when, at the beginning of the month. And I'm also going to provide you some, you got this, some positive affirmations. And do we, we do have a, um, I, I, I don't know whether to call this a story or a poem, but it is a message um, that I channeled and I would like to read that. And then... Um, I would like for my dreamers and anyone new watching to comment on this video about your, um, it can either be one short term or one long term goal that you're working towards this year, starting from this year that you would like to achieve. I am sending prayers up for, especially for this video, but I always pray for all my dreamers. Um, that whatever goal that they comment, you comment with in this video, it will be brought to fruition. You will achieve this goal. Okay. If you have a goal and you don't know how to achieve it, I'm going to ask my heavenly father to show you what you need to do to achieve it. Okay. Um, I'm really big on, um, working on your goals, putting the work in, you know, uh, creating lists for you to achieve things. And I achieved a lot in 2022. And myself and my dream team came up with our own short-term and long-term goals. And we posted them on a wall. We have a wall specific for the short-term and long-term goals for 2023. And I did a little incentive thing to, you know, help them, motivate them to achieve those goals in this year. So hopefully at home, you can do a, a wall for your family and, 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 and motivate your children if you have children. Um, if it's couples, motivate each other. 
by putting, you know, a list. Now, I did uh, three and three. So we did three long-term and three short-term. We made the list a little bit smaller um, this year and worked towards that. And once those uh, goals are achieved, we always cross them off. And then um, the next time we do a new list, I'll probably do four of each. But yeah, that's something you want to work on. It's a motivation for you okay? because everybody can't say that you don't have any. If you don't have any goals short-term or long-term, then what do you... Are you just taking up space? We should always have something that we're working towards or trying to achieve. Okay. So, um, so if you haven't, now is the time to use this day to focus on what you want out of your life moving forward. Okay. So if you haven't thought about it, today can be a day. Uh, it's New Year's Day and most people are not working. So this could be a time where you can sit down and jot down some things, brainstorm and jot down some things that you would like to achieve that maybe you didn't achieve in 2022 and that you would like to, or create some new goals for yourself, okay? Motivate yourself to want more, to achieve more, okay? And stay focused. Okay, so I'm going to go right into, I don't have a title for this one either, but I wrote it and I like, like it. Maybe... Um, I, no, I haven't really thought of a title. Can't just call it New Year's, so. though. But yeah, I wrote this. I'm going to read this. So where has all my time gone? On the eve of the new year, I am grateful for the protection of my family, my life, health, and strength. 2022 passes before my eyes and slides flashing long enough for me to remember the impact of each situation good or bad. I stand staring out my window amazed by the dense fog that blankets the sky, the tint of gray blotting out the sun and dredging up the gloom of the day. I turn and walk over to my lounge chair and slide into the chair deep in thought. I reach for a pen and paper and jot down the goals I hope to achieve in the new year. 2023 brings abundance, new endeavors, and for so many, change. Our faith will be tested and hope is the main ingredient. You will find resolution and peace in your time of need. Echoes of people screaming Happy New Year jolts me back to the present and I fall to my knees in prayer and give thanks for seeing another year. Okay? So that was just something um, I created. We came up with, and in all actuality, New Year's Eve. I came up with this. So I actually wrote this New Year's Eve. Okay. So, like I said, um, starting this uh, New Year with us setting short-term goals and long-term. So you can list one short-term or one long-term goal that you're going to be working to achieve in the year of 2023. And what I want you to do, because like I said, I am sending a big prayer on, once you achieve that goal, come back on and help motivate other people by comment in, commenting in the um, comment section on any video this year and letting us know that you actually achieved it, Okay. That would that that's a great motivation when someone else can see that they they put something in and then they actually work to achieve it. That'll help motivate other people to set goals and to try to strive to achieve achieve what they what they're you know working towards. Okay, so I'm gonna get right into it. We're gonna do our soul's journey first. Our soul's journey. Um, I pulled three cards. So the Theme number for this, this starting off this year is three, okay? Because I set three uh, short-term goals and three long-term goals. And uh, my soul's journey is going to be three cards to let us know for the month of January what we need to focus on, what we need to pay attention to, what we need to avoid in some cases, okay? Um, if it's positive, very positive what we need to look forward to, okay? So, for anyone new watching, um, if you would like to become a dreamer, 
You would need to subscribe, public subscribe, so I can see you. And then you would need to comment so I can welcome you to the channel. Okay. Anyone coming in, please, if you're coming in as a subscriber, in order for you to maintain and stay, a, um, to be eligible for any cash giveaway, any gift giveaway, you must stay subscribed. You cannot come in, subscribe, and then leave and think that you're eligible. You're not eligible. As soon as you unsubscribe, you make yourself uneligible for any cash giveaway that I have. My cash giveaways and, and the stuff that I'm working on is going to um, change up more because I'm going to be doing mystery cash giveaways where you won't know that I'm even doing a cash giveaway. I'll just pop in and do one. So I want those who are serious about being on my channel and I appreciate all my dedicated dreamers who come weekly to hear what, you know, whether it's the announcements um, to, for me to share positive affirmations, my soul's journey. You got this. Any of those things that you're coming for, my cross sticks, my channel messages. I appreciate all that you do when you come in. And that motivates me to do more cash giveaways to those who are deserving. Okay. Okay, if you like my content, and that's for dreamers and for anyone new watching, please click the like button because that will help me to stay at top and help for me, my channel to be seen by other people who may need to be inspired, who may need to see that there is a channel out there that's giving to those who are deserving, okay? And then finally, if you want to know when I'm popping in, click that notification bell. That's going to give you a little um, hint that I'm popping in and you'll be able to come in, comment and do whatever is necessary. So please provide me with three, good, three messages for my dreamers and anyone new watching from my soul's journey cards. I got one message so far. I need two more, two more messages, please. Thank you. And three, we got them. So we got, let's go right to it. We got doubt. Release the doubt. It says, I release the need to know all the answers. So you, I always say, doubt is a negative energy. Worry is a negative energy. Fear. And it's, sometimes there are things that we fear, but we have to realize we can't hold on to those energies because those energies will cause you to be stagnant. So they are telling you to release the need to know all the answers. Sometimes it's not necessary for us to know all the answers. Allow things to happen the way they should. Okay? Doubt. So that's one message for the beginning of this month. That we, if you're, if you're doubting something because you don't know the answer, release that doubt and allow whatever's happening to just happen. Okay? Relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. We should all be attracted to those people who serve our higher good. Let's not attract people who don't care about you. Let's not attract people who don't reciprocate. Okay? Let's show yourself enough love to, to bring in people in your life that's going to reflect to you what you reflect to others. Okay? So if you're a good person... And you're looking to be in a good relationship. You want to make sure that you're sending out those vibes so that you can bring back someone positive and not someone negative. Now, we do have lessons we have to learn to get to a point to be ready to receive that good person. Okay, because God is not going to just send you a good person if you're not healed, if you're not ready for that good person, because all you're going to do is, is chase them away. But at the same time, you don't want to be in a constant cycle of getting people who keep on treating you wrong because you're not seeing that these people are not good for you, okay? We all get warnings, okay, because he doesn't just throw bad people in your life. You get warnings and red flags when someone is not right for you. If you ignore those red flags and those warnings, it's the reason why you're then in a cycle to learn that lesson to move on. A lot of people don't learn the lesson. A lot of people wind up staying in that cycle and they don't ever learn the lesson. And then they get mad at God and blame God because 
they got in a cycle and they didn't get out because they never learned a lesson. You don't want to be that person. So you want to make sure you attract people who serve your higher good, who reciprocate to you what you're reciprocating to them. Okay? And the last card is growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Okay? And like I said, when you get into a cycle and you learn the lesson, this is growth. This is helping you to grow and mature and to gain that wisdom that we so, so many gain over time. Okay? You can't grow if you're stuck in a cycle and you won't allow yourself to grow. So remember, our three uh, cards for today is doubt, release that need to know all the answers, relationship, or relationships, because it can be friendships, it can be love, it can be anything, but attract people who serve your higher good, okay? And then growth. Learn those lessons. Get out of those cycles and move forward to your next lesson or or whatever you're supposed. When you ascend and you grow, you keep on going through cycles to learn different things. So allow yourself to learn and receive whatever's being taught, okay? And that's how you get growth. Okay, so let's do... You got this. Get some, you got this messages for my dreamers and anyone new watching. That's one. Yeah, because even if it doesn't flip upright, this is not, it's not necessary. It's still flipped out. So I'm still, I'll still take it. Whatever way. When I turn it over, I see it is the way I read it. Oop, too many. <laughs> that's too many. I'm going to take the one that landed on my hand because that's the one that landed upside down on my hand. It landed right on my thumb, y'all. And then I need one more card. So I'm going to do three messages for you got this also. And just want to, you know, keep that positive vibe going. That yes, and... Um, Remember that any goal or um, short-term, long-term that you set, you got this. You can do this, okay? Our first one is confidence is key. Once you have that, you are unstoppable. And this was uh, by Timothy Way. Confidence is key. And that is, when you're confident within yourself, then you find yourself working and achieving more things because you have the confidence necessary to move forward. Okay, confidence is key, okay? This one says, our greatest glory is not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall. And this was written by Oliver Goldsmith. So remember, your greatest glory is not in never falling because we're going to fall, we're going to fail, we're going to make mistakes. Okay, we're human, human to error, okay? But learn from that mistake that you made Learn when you fall, get back up, brush yourself off, and move forward. And don't repeat that cycle. Let go. Release that. Learn that lesson so you don't constantly find yourself repeating and trying to learn the same lesson over and over again. And when you learn that lesson, then you can actually be uh, someone that can help someone else. You know, you might see someone going through the same thing you went through. And because you made it through that cycle, you can then help someone else to get through that cycle. Okay? And then you've only got three choices in life. There's that number three again, y'all. Give up, give in, or give it all you've got. So they're saying you only have three choices. And that's to either give up, give in, or give it all you got. And honestly... My choice is give it all I got. I'm not giving up. I'm never going to give up on anything that I want out of life. I'm never giving up, okay? And I'm not going to give in because I don't conform to anyone. But I am going to give it all I got so that I can achieve the most out of it, okay? And that's what you should be working towards. Giving it all you got. 
so that you can at least say, I know I put my all in. I put 100% in. And if it didn't happen because it was not meant to happen at the time, but I'm going to keep on striving to get what I want no matter what. And if my Heavenly Father says, no, this is not what you should be focusing on, then I'm going to ask my Heavenly Father to show me what I need to focus on to get to that goal, to achieve what I need. Okay? Let's get some positive affirmations and we're going to finish up, okay? Positive vibes in the new year always, y'all. Positive vibes, dreamers. Okay? Want everybody to, to keep staying positive and make sure it's very important that you understand that in order for you to achieve anything in life, you have to first want to achieve it. So it, when you write down your short-term and long-term goals, it's telling the universe that you or your Heavenly Father, whichever way you look at it, it's telling your Heavenly Father, these are the things that I want to achieve. And I'm writing them in stone. I'm setting them in stone so that I can work towards achieving this. I'm going to do three. Well, I got four. But I'm going to do these four um, positive affirmations. Stay focused. If you have a goal that you want to achieve, you have to stay focused to achieve it. Okay, stay focused. Ready? Ready on point, okay? Nothing is impossible. Don't ever believe that you can't achieve something. Don't ever believe that your situation is impossible to get out of. Don't ever believe that your situation is your end all, okay? Um... I was dealing with someone who was in a situation they were not happy, but they didn't work hard to get out of the situation. They gave in. So this made sense. They didn't, they didn't, they, they almost gave up, but they didn't give up. Okay. But they didn't give it their all they had. They gave in to try to bring peace, but it found out in the end that giving in didn't even bring them peace. And you want to know why you didn't bring them peace? Is because God didn't want them to give in. God wanted them to stand in their power and give it all they got so that he could help them. Like this person is literally, and, and it's, you know, when I was younger, I used to have friends that would come to me and ask me for advice. And I always felt like I was the person that could help other people with their situations. But there were times when I would get into things and I could not see clearly. But I also didn't, I had a couple of friends that I could go to and talk to, to help. But I found a lot of my friends, when I would give them the advice, they would still do it their way and their way turned out. But if they had just followed, if they had just listened and followed the, what I had told them, the situation would have been a lot easier for them. What I recognize is some of these people, even though I gave them good advice, you know, and told them something that would have helped them get from point A to point B. They still needed to go through. And that's why they didn't listen. They still needed to go through because a lot of times we think, okay, that's easy. You just do this and you do that and you're done. Okay. But everybody doesn't learn their lesson the same. A lot of people have to go through to learn the lesson. You know, I don't want to be that person that has to go through everything misery and all that just to learn a lesson. I'm quick with it. I'm that type of person. Once you show me, I'm taking the way, the way that's, you know, that I'm supposed to. I'm staying on that path and I'm doing what's necessary so I don't have to go through all the other stuff. But there are some people in life that that's the only way they can learn. Okay. And so basically, sad part about it is because this person did, did not put all that they had into, did not stand into their power, they are still stuck in a situation that they regret and they despise and they really don't want to be in. But right now, until they really open their eyes and see it for what it really is, they will forever be stuck in limbo. And I had to release that person. Not that I wanted to, because I really didn't want to, but I can't allow someone's energy to keep me stagnant because they're not, they're indecisive and not sure what they want. So when you come over on this side, you have to be positive vibes only. Okay. 
You have to you have to be striving and achieving what you want in life. You have to be that person that's encouraging others. That's the way I work. I don't believe in worrying and doubt and fear and all that. I, you know, I'm not saying that I'm perfect because I'm not, but I also know that even in my imperfection, I still look to my heavenly father for the answers when I'm not sure. Okay. So we have to remember that nothing is impossible when you believe. Okay. All things are possible with God. Okay. Keep life simple. Okay. Stay focused. Keep life simple. And the last one, follow your heart. If you have a dream, a goal or something that makes your heart flutter. Okay. Follow your heart. Put 100% into that goal. Okay? Follow your heart. Okay, dreamer. So today our video was made up of a poem that I wrote. Um, I shared our soul's journey. I also asked you to comment with a short-term or long-term goal that you would like to achieve and comment. Set it in stone in our video. And the prayers that I sent up to my Heavenly Father will be for it to become fruition. Once it comes to fruition, I'm asking you to go back into the video and comment that you achieve that goal, whether it's short term or long term. Thank you for allowing me to share my soul's journey. You got this in a positive affirmations, dreamers. Again, happy new year.